We're cooking with Thunder Bay, and on the menu today is a dish that's perfect for summer. We got it sizzling right now. Chef Mike Sigler back to make some blackened fish tacos. They smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Good morning, hey, ladies. Mike. Never too early for tacos, right? Never. I guess so. What you got today? Well, it's summertime, so rather than doing a traditional beef or chicken taco, we're lighten it up a little bit and do some fish tacos. I like that. What and, kind of fish is it? Well, this is cod that we're going to be using today, and we're going to season it up with some good Cajun seasonings and things like that. But first off, what I'm going to do is show you how we put together one of the condiments that's going to be on there, which is a Southwest slaw. Oh, yum. Okay. And this is okay. a really delicious accompaniment that we make to go on this taco. We use mm -hmm. it in a couple other different places too, and it's something that's really e easy for folks to make at home too if you wanted okay. to. So what we start off with here is this is eight ounces of shredded cabbage with a little bit of carrots in there. That's kind of like, you know, if you were to get it in the store, it'd be like the Dole brand that's in the produce mm -hmm. section. And to that we add one cup of prepared tomato salsa. We're just gonna put that just right in favorite. there. Just your favorite. We make ours from scratch. If you wanted to get some at the store, you could obviously do that as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're also gonna add one cup of fresh pico de gallo, along with all those juices. You wanna get all those juices right in there as well. And we're gonna add that in there. Okay, and then okay. from there, what we're gonna do is I got some gloves on, so we're all sanitary. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix this all <laughs> up with this nice, um, slaw that we have in here and this okay. is going to provide sort of a southwest nice peppery onion garlic uh, a little bit of chili type of a flavor to our slaw that we're going to put on our tacos so why use slaw instead of just lettuce for well, this lettuce is just kind of kind of dry it doesn't really yeah. bring a lot to the party flavor wise With and this crunch. yeah this is going to add a little bit of moisture to it and also some flavor too okay so we're going to let that sit for a minute and while we're going to let that sit we're going to go ahead and prepare our cod for the blackening pan mm -hmm. so what we have here is atlantic cod and what we do with this is we season this up with a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Now our Cajun seasoning is just a mixture of paprika, garlic, onion powder, and a little bit of cayenne pepper, which is gonna help to give it a little bit of a zing, because that's definitely what you want with this, because we're gonna try to combine as many different flavors as what we can. We're gonna season that up really good on both sides. And then we have a blackening pan going over here, which is getting really nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Now what I like to do to kind of prepare this pan a little bit is I'll take just a little bit of cooking oil, put it in the bottom of the pan, and then rather than letting it kind of pool up like that, what I'll do is I'll kind of smear it all the way around on the pan and get it all oh. the way up on the edges. That way you provide a little bit of lift um, from the food that you put in there, like we're going to do here. And it'll help huh. to kind of keep it from getting too um, stuck on there. Okay. So we're going to put a little like bit more that. oil on top of there. Whoops. And give it a look. <laughs> Whoops. You just said a little whoops. I love that. A little bit of a loop. Yeah, that's, that's a professional a, culinary term. That's yeah, a word you don't want to hear when someone's cutting your hair. Right, right. Whoops. Yeah. Right. It's right? A, exactly. It's yeah. okay for tacos, though. So yeah. from there, I have some that I already started, and you can see what these look like here. They now are we, great. We sear these up on both sides, and we get them nice and golden like that. Mm -hmm. A little bit blackened, hence the name Black and Tacos. And then we're just going to kind of just oh, roughly... Oh, you put the opposite direction yeah because okay. what you want to do is you want to go with where the flake is on the fish okay. and if you kind of like push against where the flake is it flakes apart like that we don't really want it to be diced up and chopped mm. or look like it's prefabricated or anything like that okay. so from there we're going to build these tacos up so we start off with a soft corn tortilla shell mm -hmm. and you had it in the skillet for a little bit yeah just a dry skillet just to kind of put a little bit of heat on it and then from there we're going to take some of our slaw which we just made up okay. put some of that slaw on top of there and then we're going to take our fish and we're going to go ahead and layer our fish right on top of there and we Good. have some sweet chili sauce, which is something that you would get sort of in the Asian section of your grocery store. And you yeah. can get this as hot or as mild as you like. And then from there, we're going to finish it off with some delicious fresh mango salsa. Yes, you are. So now you'll know we got the spice from the fish. We got the crunch from the slaw. We got the sweetness and the spice from the chili sauce. And then we have some nice, delicious freshness that. coming on board from that mango on there to give it sort of a free, almost lightly citrus type that of a punch. That is a lot of flavor profile going that on there. That is a lot going on, That yes. is. What do you have, what are you serving for brunch these days? Brunch these days, let me tell you, we're continuing to put out different things on brunch every week. We okay. have all of our traditional things from uh, omelets made by Chef Dino to uh, fresh made waffles and French toast. We have um, burgundy beef, we have chef carved ham, we have a wide assortment of desserts, everything from blueberry muffins and banana bread. Um, we have fresh baked pies and cakes. We have the entire produce bar with fresh fruit and salads and potato salads. I could talk for an hour about what we all have out there, but it, it's, it's a huge variety are of stuff. Are these tacos on your, on your small plates or are they on your, is this a regular item? These like? are available on the small plate menu, okay. which we also have running at lunchtime and at dinner. And if you come out, you can either get a single taco if you just want to try one and determine you if it's for you or not. Here. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Thank you. Have yourself there you a go. try. <laughs> we, don't you, set that down, uh, Mike. I don't know what I was thinking. So, <laughs> 
Man. Yeah, you can either get one, you can get two, you can make a platter of it and get a few. You know, it's mm -hmm. just part of that, the fun of having that small plates menu is that you can Sweet. try different things um, and, mm -hmm. and not feel like you got to totally commit to having a big pile of the same thing. And it's a little bit hot right now, maybe to sit outside, but you got a beautiful patio at yes. Thunder Bay. A great place to meet coworkers after work or take the family, take the kids out for lunch. You can look at the pond and the fountain out there, serve up a few cold drinks or Indeed. iced tea. Yeah, definitely. And we always have a lot of fresh uh, bar specials going on too. We have some nice tropical drinks going on right now to kind of play into the nice warm weather that we have going on. Um, so yeah, come on out and enjoy a nice uh, cold drink on the patio and have some fish tacos and uh, enjoy yourself. That is awesome. good. I, I, I'm not always a big fish and taco fan. Right. That I would eat. Yeah, it's different. It. it doesn't I taste like your traditional no fish flavors. taco. Nope. Fantastic love fish tacos. tacos. Thank right. you, Mike. Thank you. Here's the information for Thunder Bay. So you can head on out 94 and 164 exit 294 in Pewaukee. Make sure to ask for Mike. Yeah. Come out and say hi. Call for reservations for brunch because <laughs> they fill up. Thank you, Mike. Thank Good you. Good stuff.